we won't see it because an asteroid twice the size of the Empire State Building is set to fly by Earth at 4.51 this afternoon. Um, so, we better do a spacing out with Derek and Jarek. Get you caught up. Astronauts report a period of 25 seconds. Yes, Derek Pitts, Chief Astronomer at the Franklin Institute, joins me now. Hello, Derek Pitts. Good morning, Mike. You know, they keep measuring this, and they always do this with asteroids. It's uh, twice the size of the Empire State Building. We live in Philadelphia, so this way I'll say it. It's about three and a half Comcast towers, about three and a half of those, flying how fast this afternoon? Oh, my gosh. This is moving at 46,000 miles per hour. 46,000 miles per hour. It's really sipping along. How come some of the headlines, because this is over a million miles away, some of the headlines actually said potentially hazardous? Oh, this is a, that designation, in a sense, is left over from when it was first discovered in 1994. Back then, when it was first sighted, Scientists didn't really have a good idea of what its trajectory through the solar system would be, but mm. they knew that its passage, you know, the pass by Earth, would be, you know, kind of on the close side. But since then, the refinements in the calculation of the orbit allowed us to understand that it's going to pass five and a half times the distance between the Earth and the Moon, 1.2 million miles away from Earth. All right, so. so we'll be fine. What, yeah. what is it? Where, where, where did it come from? Oh, well, asteroids are really interesting objects in our solar system because they are the leftover detritus from planets that used to exist in our solar system way back in the early history of our solar system. So these are pieces of broken up planets that were the result of collisions that happened early on. So we might be seeing, you know, what is part of the inner portion of a planet that used to exist oh, a long, long time ago. What if it did hit us? Would, uh, that's a lot of damage at 46 it, miles an hour. 46 it would ruin, miles. Let's just say it would ruin your day. It would ruin my day. It but, would ruin a lot. Yeah, an impact like that would be uh, incredibly devastating. Um, what was the size of whatever hit us when the dinosaurs were, you know, blown off the Earth? Oh, that was considerably bigger than this was, than this is. Considerably bigger than this is. Okay. And so, you know, that was large enough to not only create an enormous impact crater, but to blast dust up into the atmosphere uh, that eventually caused the demise of the dinosaurs hey, 65 million years ago. Are things still hitting the moon? Because you look up there and say, my gosh, it's just covered in craters. Oh, wait, hold on. Things are still hitting Earth, not just the moon, well, but things true. are still hitting Earth. Yeah. If you look at the moon on any clear night when you can see those craters on the surface, you're seeing the evidence of the amount of material that used to be shooting around the solar bam, bam, system bam. very early in the history. Hey, real quickly, we did a story a little earlier about this 500 carat, well, they're calling it a diamond. Do we have diamonds in the sky? <laughs> we do have diamonds out in the sky. Do you know that there are actually planets and stars that have diamonds incorporated into them? Like if you go out to the atmosphere of a planet like Jupiter or Saturn, the pressure can get high enough to create diamonds deep in the interior, and some stars have diamond cores. So it might not be unusual out in space, but it's unusual for us to get one of those diamonds here if that could happen. Yeah, they think, they think it's going to sell for about $8 million, so we'll see. Uh, yeah. Terry? Cheap at twice the price. Thank you. I'll be Thanks, thinking Mike. of you at 4.51 this afternoon.